Now, former Attorney General Sir Michael Ellis has accused the BBC of being institutionally anti-Semitic and fueling tensions with its coverage of the Gaza conflict. In a scathing critique, he claims the broadcaster's reporting has not only tarnished its impartiality, but has also ignited a dangerous surge in anti-Semitic sentiments. Well, we're still joined by Talk TV international editor Isabel Oakeshott. I mean, what immediately comes to mind, and I'd imagine in, in part what he was referring to, is that utterly disgraceful moment when I think it was Jeremy Bowen, as international editor, uh, reported that a hospital had been attacked yeah, it was, by it was Jeremy Israeli Bowen, missiles. Say, it was Jeremy, it not Jeremy no, Bowen? So it was a different report. But a hospital had been attacked by uh, Israeli missiles in Gaza, and it turned out that it was uh, not Israel at all, despite Israel saying, no, it wasn't us, we definitely didn't do this, and it was actually terrorists associated with Iran. Um, but there, it does seem to me that there has been a lot of focus on all the terrible things that Israel may or may not be doing a lot of sort of boohoo. They even had that guy who was that, that actor, that Palestinian actor all the time. Do you remember that guy? Uh, yeah, I, yeah. I've seen some of uh, these reports. I think there's a lot of actors. Yeah. Oh, a lot. A lot of um, actors. And, but all of this thing does sort of fuel the masses into thinking that there is some sort of genocide happening. I wonder whether this is a classic case of a, of a word that the BBC, you know, their HR people would absolutely love, which is unconscious bias, yeah. as well as conscious bias. Um, I think that, you know, there are many people who are so steeped within the, within the BBC in a one-dimensional left-wing view of the world into which you can pile all sorts of biases um, that they almost don't realise that they're doing it. That's exactly it. Mm -hmm. They, they, are, they right. are prisoners of their own group thing. Yeah. They do not realise that they are biased against Israel and yeah. uh, absolutely palpably pro-Palestine. Every, never... every news... I was saying to Alex earlier, every news uh, bu bulletin on the BBC, particularly the 6pm one, which I've controversially taken to watch here. Alex doesn't like me for doing that. I know where you're coming from. But I watch it kind of, uh, you know, sort of counterintuitive to be shocked by what they do. Every single report begins with 10 minutes on the plight of the Palestinians. Yeah. Nothing about the Israelis. Yeah. They are. Yeah. He, he's right. He is right. Yeah. Ellis is and, right. And if you just happen to switch on for, I don't know, five or ten minutes as a snapshot, yeah. it may be that overall, they will argue that overall, those reports about how many people are dying and the suffering and all of that, which is very real in Gaza, are overall balanced by other things later in the day. But chances are, if you switch on for five or ten minutes, you will get a report from uh, somebody talking about the wretched... Yeah. Fergal you know, Keane, usually. Usually Fergal Keane. Uh, still with the BBC, very quickly, we've got to move on. Uh, but uh, the Hugh Edwards scandal, uh, he is accused of paying a 17-year-old kid £35,000 for sex pictures when that mother went to the BBC and said, could you get Hugh Edwards away from my kid? Uh, the BBC did nothing uh, and therefore has had to apologise. Of course, it all came out in the wash. Uh, and uh, it turns out that Hugh Edwards, uh, that the family are saying that uh, this ripped their family apart. And Hugh Edwards, meanwhile, uh, is apparently too ill uh, to face a so probe. I, I knew you'd pick up on that, because that's exactly what I picked yeah. up on as well. The mm. too ill thing. Look, I don't know. I mean, how ill is he really? I'm not saying he doesn't have, you know, terrible problems of grief and regret and so on, but is he too ill to answer some questions? Oh, really? Well, to, you know, cynics might say, oh. cynics might say, and I certainly would not join them, that he's played the mental health card and therefore everybody's walking on eggshells. We that... can't carry on paying him £675,000 yeah. a year for doing nothing. Please don't tell me that is what he's yes, currently... Yes, it is what he gets. Well, that, that is unbelievable.